My name is Agung Dijayo. I want a presentation with the title Power Efficiency Analysis by using UBEC for Forecasting Hand. Set on Susina Survey Social Economic National Data in 2018, 14.2 percent of Indonesian population with disabilities, or 30.38 million people. In June 2011, the World Health Organization (WHO) globally, uh, globally saw 1.1 billion people with disabilities worldwide. About 15 percent of the world population live with some form of disability. 2 to 6 percent of which experience significant difficulties in function functioning. The human hand is one of the of the essential part of the human body in carrying out daily activities. The absence of hand describe daily activities such as eating, lifting glass, and carrying things. The need for to to help with disabilities and hand carrying out activities can work again or of employing dis disability. The development of assistive device has been increasingly advanced, one of which uh, is a robot hand. However, this, this device still lacks a uh, like large actuator system and requires ample strong space. Post-amputation rehabilitation is an effort of, to help amputee disabilities restore self-confidence, but it takes time and it is necessary to visit a rehabilitation center for employing disabilities. Besides to carry out daily activities, tools are needed that can help amputee disab disabled hands. The prosthetic hand is a technology in the in the health sector that replaces the hand part of the uh, of the body part of the hand loss due to amputation. Several previous uh, research at the Basmar University Product Planning and Design Laboratory have researched the prosthetic hand. However, there are still weakness in the power supply system, which require a voltage source from PLN, and when using a voltage source from the battery, it does not last uh, long in use. Prosthetic hand research I am to analyze the power supply system by analyzing the DC voltage regulator. The research is complete in three stacks. The first stack is the design system. The second, the second is data collection, and the third is data analysis. More detail will be explained in the next session. The first is uh, design system. The, power, the processing hand was studied uh, for adults on the lead arm the, at the Smart uh, University Product Planning and Design Laboratory. A pull system is asked by the processing hand to move the finger joint with a cable system. The prosthetic hand component consists of uh, an Arduino beset microcontroller circuit, an electromography sensor, a servo motor, a lipo battery, and the ultimate battery eliminator circuit. The UBEC use is uh, 5, 5, 5 to 6 volt. The second data collection. Data collection is by measuring the voltage and current on the prosthetic, ha prosthetic hand system. The measuring instrument used are their full matter with specification DT 9205A from Mayfair and DT X30D, DT X60D from Winner. Each test stack was carried out two times, first using a conventional regulator as a voltage regulator in the plastic hand system and the second using an ultimate battery eliminator circuit regulator as a voltage regulator plastic hand. Its system test for 30 minutes by moving its finger. Data collection in the form of voltage current is carried out every 5 minutes for 30 minutes. Here, here, as, here, are, the, here are test scenario of our finger gesture. The test, the test first move one finger, test second move two finger, the test street move three finger, test fifth, uh, four more four finger test fifth more five finger the third data analysis dc or direct current is a negative current or electron that flow or flow is one direction from the posi positive pull to the negative pull electrical power is the amount of energy absorbed or generated in a circuit or a circuit energy source such as electric electric 
voltage will uh, produce electrical power sometimes the load connected to it will absorb the electrical power so that electric power is the level of energy consumption in a circuit or electrical circuit power is electric energy use per unit time data retrieval in this study that's the entry system namely with the scanner described previously the result of the system the test explained in the following section the first test result of the uh, current measurement in the in the system the second the result of the voltage measurement uh, on the system the third compression of ubic regulator and compressional regulator based on the number of finger move the first the result of the current measurement in the system the following as the result of current measurement on the prostate hand system using ubic and compressional regulator Current measurement result on the UBEC regulator and confessional regulator are almost the same. The results obtained are not much difference between the two, as saw in the graph. The average measurement when moving one finger. The difference between the UBEC regulator and the confessional regulator is minimal. And this occurred, uh, occurs in both, in both regulator up to five finger. The second result of the voltage measure on the system. Figure graphics show that the average voltage on the two regulators show a significant difference. The measured voltage from the OBEC regulator does not experience a voltage drop. Will the conventional regulator experience a voltage drop in 10 to 25 minutes? Conventional regulator experience a voltage drop up to up uh, of up to 4 volt when finger mover start from 0 to 30 minutes. Cause the quality of the regulator circuit resulting in a voltage drop below the average of 5, of five volts. In contrast, the UBEC voltage pro produces a reasonably stable voltage compared to conventional voltage, even though there is a change in load. The third compression of UBEC regulator and conventional regulator based on the number of finger move. Figure 4 a uh, so in increase in current when there is an increase in load it is normal because the actuator is working more and more when the prostate hand move one finger the current that flow is 0.4 ampere and continues to increase following the number of finger that move and when the prostate hand move five finger the current following reach 1.1 ampere it ampere it ampere to both regulator In figure B, in 4B, show the difference in voltage generated on the two regulator. The UBEC regulator pro, uh, produce a stable voltage. Will the conventional regulator experience a, dis a decrease in voltage following following the load? It is due to is it is due to the difference in quality between the two regulator. From graphic, it seems that the power consumption of the UBEC regulator is greater than the that than that uh, of the conventional regulator, which is for what will the conventional regulator consume less power than the UBEC regulator? But the uh, conventional regulator power is not stable. Power instability in a system is dangerous and must uh, avoid because it can damage electronic system, including actuator and batteries. Conclusion In the design of a prostate hand use five servo UBEC as a regulator was testing with several methods tested. This study concluded that uh, UBEC uh, cloth stable tension with the prostate hand performed five finger movement. The UBEC regulator has several advantages stable the voltage super to the system even though there is a change in load. The power measured in the UBEC regulator is more stable than the conventional regulator. Vito Reset has expected to make to uh, make the prostate hand material as uh, as lack like, uh, possible, and and that the and the servo motor is like weak but uh, has good performance. Thank you.